Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some Goblin Aristocrats and well we've got uh, no well one Aristocrat. Double Sparksmith is nice. The Falcon Ralph Noble with our four land drops here. Definitely keepable. Hmm. We like seeing that too with our Double Sparksmith. Uh, let's go with the Swamp and pass the turn. I actually could have gone with turn one Sledder but it's probably not necessary. Oh, it's gonna brainstorm to guarantee that. Okay. Yeah, maybe it would have been smarter to play the letter on turn one, but I figured it wasn't necessary. Hmm. Now, I don't know. Okay, the revealing scred. Ooh, ooh. That's not good. Yeah, if they have enough removal like that, or maybe they're missing the red though, so that might be that might be important for us. So we have to play Sparksmith. Jeez, we're gonna take a lot of hits from this turn one Delver. <laughs> Come on, no red, no red, no red, no red. Don't play anything red. No mountain. They don't have very many basic mountains in their deck, so. Oh, yes, it's just, it's just an island. Okay, so we're going to take... We're going to be taking a total of eight <laughs> to deal with this guy, but... Uh, okay, so I think here, since we're drawing all lands, uh, we're going to go here. We are going to play a... Uh, goblin Sledder. Opponent's probably got a counter for that. Yep, okay. So now we play Sparksmith number two. And then we shoot this guy down, taking two. Pass the turn. Next turn we can play our Falkenroth Noble, hopefully, and start gaining back some life. That was a pretty effective Delver. One mana for eight damage is not so bad. Opponent found their Scred, but they have two Sparksmen to deal with, so not so bad. So maybe we go with. Um, or do I just go for the noble? It's going to get scredded, but at least I'll gain some life out of it. Hmm. Or do I try to bait it out with Mortician Beetle? I think I can wait one more turn. And if they try to um, spell Sutter Sprite, I can always shoot it down. Okay, so that resolves. In that case, we'll play our Carnarium. Pick up our swamp, and we're going to get in with one Sparksmith. Start getting ahead here. I might want to play... Okay, they're scredding the beetle, good. Goblin Surgeon would be a really good draw right now. Okay. Oh. Well, we have Matron for Surgeon. They could have another Counterspell. It's probably worth um, going for it, though. Let's go for the Matron. Resolves. So we're going to go ahead and fetch up a Goblin Surgeon. Cast it. 
I will take three to resolve this. <laughs> okay, that happens. Very good. Okay, they just concede. Yeah, we got a pretty good board here. It's going to be hard for them to uh, deal with it. Ooh, man, that was actually <laughs> really stressful. You really have no idea when uh, when that's going to hit. Is this non-flying? Yeah. This is non-flying. Boo. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about this Quark Clan. Maybe it's just another, like, trickery. Uh, let's bring in a Warren Weirding. Let's bring in um, Triple Pyro Blast. Rooping the Graves. I think it's good as a one of. What do we take out? Probably a couple Prospectors. Maybe a couple Life Staffs. Maybe all the Life Staffs, actually. And then keep the Prospector. But what does Prospector really do for us here? Maybe it's better off being something else. Like Blade Brand, maybe. I do want to keep the Goblin Count fairly high, though. Maybe this is the way to go. Let's try it. Okay, well, we can actually keep this. Okay, it's a fairy seer. That's good. It's too bad they're on the play again, because that means that now they'll have fairy seer into spell stutter, which actually answers our board. Ooh, that's good. Hmm. Do I go for the Mog Raider, or do I go for the Ash Barons? We need to resolve this Sparksmith. I think it's going to be mounted into Ash Barons. gets in for one. Are you going to ninja? Oh, they are. Okay, so we're going to get to resolve our Sparksmith. And hopefully um, they won't have the answer for it right away. I'm going to get another mountain. Mortician beetle. Okay, so let's go. Sparksmith. Uh, they're going to get a lot of hits off that ninja, though. Really, we should have hit a lot more removal. Oh no, they're getting the red mana. Darn it, they probably have an answer. That's probably going to do it for us, unfortunately. Yeah, you're going to get in. You're going to have to use that uh, that removal spell, though. Okay, they're just replaying the Fairy Seer. Sure. One top, one bottom. Okay. Uh, here I can actually shoot the ninja and then electricery. It would take less damage. At the same time, ah, because if they have removal and I play the Maw War Marshal, then um, their ninja lives. But I guess I still have like trickery as backup, so. Okay, let's go for the Maw War Marshal. And then, worst case, I'll double block the ninja, and then electricery, whatever they play. Yeah, they have it, eh? They're gonna scred here, so we'll just shoot this guy. 
we at least get some value out of it. I mean, it's a nice two for one. That's always nice. Except this is going to be a grind now. Fighting against this ninja is no fun. Second fairy seer. Okay. Scry 2 is a lot for a 1 1. A 1 drop 2, that's great. Two cards on bottom. Okay. Preordain, sure. They played the Revolving Wilds already, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Hmm. No attacks. Wow. Okay. Do I pay for this? I think I will, and I'll just play the uh, Mortician Beetle. Or do I not pay, and then play the Mortician Beetle? Let's see. If I don't pay, I play the Mortician Beetle, and I'll leave up Electricery, or do I play Mob Raider? Or I can pay and then play Mob Raider. Or I can not pay and play Mob Raider and Mortician Beetle and leave up Electricery. That's probably a little bit better. Okay, so let's not pay. Ooh, lightning bolt. Well, <laughs> that changes things. Now I'm glad I really, I'm really glad I didn't pay. Um, let's bolt the ninja. Let's play the mog raider. And let's play Mortician Beetle. And we're going to get in with our Goblin. Now I've got a really tough beetle. Though I guess they would have killed it in response to the Mog Raider. I wonder if they block. What would that say about their hand? Hmm. I feel like this thing takes so much space all the time, so you know what? Oop. There we go. Maybe I can just, uh... Oh, but then it'll go away as soon as I click anything, right? Yeah, that's too bad. So we should keep it, keep it here. Ooh! Swirling Sandstorm. So I can actually save my Mortician Beetle. Everything else is going to die. So, Pump, Sack. Always, yes. Always yield. Pump, Sack. And 
and then pump sack. And then F6. So my guy's a 7-7. Seven, seven. He's a 4-4 four, four on your turn. Gets in for one. Yep, that's fine. I think we're going to matron. And uh, let's see. We're going to get a surgeon, I think. Where do we get a sparksmith? Yeah, let's just go for sparksmith. Get in for four. Sparksmith is just so hard for them to deal with. Ponder. Even if they do manage to get another Swirling Sandstorm or something, we're still in decent shape with the amount of removal and uh, creatures we have in our hand. They've used a lot of resources. They're already at 41 cards. So no Sandstorm. Or they haven't played a land yet. They could um, potentially um, scred the Mortician Beetle. That's probably what they're looking for. five here, so I would need... Wow, they just concede the match. That's strange. I wonder, maybe with the Sparksmith it would have been just such an uphill battle. Yeah, maybe this is just a really good matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.